the slides, so don't bother me right now. Hi guys, and welcome to the official DIY Minecraft kickoff. Today, we will be going through a few things, like blocks and blocks that we haven't seen before and other things like that. Start the fireworks land. So we'll start with the party section. Okay, Landon, go start the party. Push the button. Okay. So what? So Minecraft is um. So basically, this is I used a bunch of block, special blocks, and other stuff to make the stage. It is very simple, and basically, I used a bunch of fireworks, some lightning, um, um, yeah, just fireworks and lightning, basically. Although it seems simple, it took me over two weeks to set up. As I had to put to get a piece together to stage, I had to make these pillars, and I had to behind the stage. There's a few systems for exploiting the fireworks. Back here, you can see there's pistons shooting out the fireworks. So what basically what Minecraft is is just. Well, it can be educational. It's a it's an educational resource. Well, it's so so fun. Is where you there's basic building blocks to the game. So here, for example, the most common these are all different blocks you can use. So there's blue stained glass. I'm gonna use for an example. So I'm gonna place a block right here. So blocks, what blocks are, is they're physical things in the, your Minecraft world. Minecraft is very simple, and a lot of animals that you can think of exist in Minecraft. Like if you're, um, let's say, um, a fox liker, I don't know anyone who's a fox liker, but there's a, a fox in this game. I could spawn a fox on the stage here. And there we go. Minecraft imitates a lot of these mobs like this. Although they look a little, um, I don't know how to describe these. These can be a little, um, they can look a little creepy sometimes, especially the sheep. Foxes don't look as creepy as the sheep. There, there's a there's three categories of mobs. There's a hostile mob. There's the um. There's the neutral mob, and there's a passive mob. What a pa passive mob is is even if you hit it. Oh, I just find a part of the stage. Let me fix that. Very easy to fix. Oh, if I hit a mob. Try to attack me back, although I'm not in survival, so I wouldn't try to anyway. There's neutral. One of the neutral balls is a wolf. This is a wolf. Spawn egg. If I was in survival, he'd be trying to attack me right now. Survival is a game mode, by the way, that basically you try to survive. And, like, you know, there's hostile mobs and neutral mobs like this that are trying to get you. And then there's a hostile mob, such as a creeper. Okay, so I already know what's going to happen here. So, none. A creeper, if, if I was in survival, would be chasing me and trying to blow me up right now. Also, if a creeper gets near lightning, what? Um, okay. If it gets striked by lightning, I need to place one right there. It becomes a charge creeper. These charge creepers, you can tell them when they have a part by this blue stuff around them. 
and they have a huge explosion. It's way bigger than that. They these occur when a, a mob gets striked by lightning. And you can see that the stage is not very lightning proof as lightning striking it right now. In fact, I actually programmed Minecraft with one of Minecraft's types blocks called the command block to make it work. So basically back here there's these command blocks which are summoning the lightning bolts. So let me just show you a few commands real quick. If you're familiar with Minecraft, this is one of the things that you probably is that you're what you're least familiar with. So you type flash into the chat and let's do a simple one for now. There's a lot of commands. There's over a hundred commands. And they all do physical things in the Minecraft world. So MSG, for example, sends a private message to one or more players. So let's say I wanted to send a message to um, the other player in this world, which is Moo. And I could say, hi, M -O 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 -O. So it says you whisper to Moo, Moo, hi Moo, and then he'll see that, but no one else in the game would see that. Like, for example, if one of my other friends were in the game at this moment, they would not see or hear Moo. By the way, Moo's my brother, if you, anyone's ever, if anyone's wondering. Right now he's building an ice fort. Another th cool thing about Minecraft is its uniqueness to build houses and other things. One of my favorite things to build here is houses. So I built a simple house and a complex house. Hers was toward a simple house. In this simple house, I have a furnace. Furnace is what you use to cook food. Here we have a crafting table. This is what you use to craft items. And here is an anvil. An anvil is pretty complicated, but basically I could call... I could name it like Ma, and then I could take it out, and then now if I hover over it, instead of saying what it actually is, I would say whatever I named it. Here's the chest. A chest is basically a bunch of, um, it holds items. And then here's a villager. Here, he. I also have some name tags in here, basically what these do with name mods. I have prepared Mr. Simple for Mr. Simple's house. And yeah, and then right here is an iron door. Normally, if you right click on the door, the door would open. But right now, I have a button so that Mr. Simple won't get out. I am terrible at running out of iron doors, so just take a minute. Okay. And there are many, a lot of blocks in Minecraft. What the stage is made out of is, on the bottom, these are wooden planks. On the edges, these are fence posts. Up here is red wool and black wool. And then finally, it is made out of other elements, such as down here. Is redstone dust. Redstone dust is like wire in real world. It carries power from a power source like a lever or my circuit over there and makes things power like a piston which pushes and pulls blocks and therefore are pushing redstone blocks which are a special type of block because they power these pistons. Another cool thing about pistons is if they move under you, you move with the block they're pushing. So as you can see right now, I'm, I'm moving on top of this. This is a dispenser. What dispensers do is they throw things, basically. So if I put a button in here, it's going to throw the button out of the top each time it's activated. And then under, under the stage... We have this trail of redstone dust that goes through here. This redstone dust is carrying a sig signal all the way to either side 
therefore attaching the pistons and making them well it ran out of fireworks but making would what would make them a firework this is my clock circuit here this is controlling all the stuff it's, it's making sure that it doesn't start raiding because that would be a bust no one likes raining during cool events and and then these are the command blocks like the that summoned the lightning like i said those never run out and then um, and those they also power the fireworks if i still have fireworks the other cool thing about minecraft is it has different dimensions dimensions basically what dimensions mean that you can go um, basically there's the overworld which we're in now and then there's also the nether in the end we are going to visit the nether qu quickly today but not the end so to go to the nether you build a portal i i have it pre-built on my second house with portal walls so i can run into one of these walls to get to the nether so if i run in here it's going to say building terrain i'm going to spawn in this biome which is basically covered with lava. Although it is the overworld, although it looks very lava, it has basically, this is like, you usually don't want to go here unless you need potions. Potions are basically like they can make you, they give you like super, superhero like powers. And allow you around and turn invisible and be a brilliant fire as you can see in this dimension it is kind of would seem kind of hard to survive here this is a hard biome to be in and therefore usually this is not some place where you'd want to go and also it has many cliffs and usually, as you can see right here, a lava ocean. In the overworld there's a lava there's there's a water ocean, but here there's a lava ocean. Also in the nether, you can travel a lot faster in the overworld. Traveling one block in the nether me means that you travel eight blocks in the overworld so technically you can make another portal over here and i would have gone like 24 blocks even though i only flew like eight blocks now let's teleport back to the overworld so here we're back in the overworld now for some of those minecrafters that already know what minecraft is i have a few a block that a lot of people who did not probably did not know that that existed I don't know um and you still have those underwater TNT blocks or not do I need to craft them yes okay so let's go get some um I need to craft them real quick cuz this next book I'm going to show you is underwater TNT just most Minecraft players are going to be like, what? That does not exist, but it really does. So you need t the crafting recipe is TNT and then sodium. Wait, how did they make this? I'm pretty sure. Oh, yep. Yeah, you put it right there and you get underwater TNT. Underwater TNT. One of the, the, these blocks special traits is that it explodes underwater good better than a regular TNT block. So I'm going to do a little experiment here. And I need a water bucket. So let's fill two holes with water. And I'm going to put, oh, oops, sorry, little slime. Oh, okay, maybe we'll get him out of there. 
Now I'm going to place one underwater TNT in one and TNT in the other. We're going to, I'm going to hook these. Now I'm going to detonate these with flint and steel and see which one explodes better underwater. So it's like the underwater TNT. Well, wow, that actually damaged the overwater TNT. Oh, oh. Oops, sorry guys. Um, and then here's some yuggler TNT. Let's see how much the yuggler TNT. I'll mine another hole. So that was a pretty big hole, but let's try under yuggler TNT underwater. So let's watch this. Well. It did no damage while over here, where the yuggler TNT was, the underwater TNT was, did a huge explosion. So that's one of the blocks that a lot of Minecrafters don't know exists. The only way that this works, though, is you need to have Education Edition on. If Education Edition is off, then it, you will not have underwater TNT and sodium and some of those real el life elements um so first let, now i'm gonna try i'm gonna show you another unique property of what i just took out flint and steel what flint and steel basically does is set things on fire like oh oops i want to set that on fire oh ah i want to set this on fire so i can set most wooden things can burn yeah, and another thing, cool thing, is you can put out fire with water, which is normal. You should be able to do that. And that probably wiped out my redstone. Yes, it did. And you can put a block where the water source was to block out that water source. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you one of my favorite f commands is, um, I can some fill an area with TNT. So I am going to give myself a, a command block so that we can, I want to, this is one of the coolest things cool things is you can repeatedly summon a mob really fast, like 20 times a second. So I'm also going to invite my friends into the game now too real quick so that they, that they can help lower that up. So I'm going to um, so now you guys can now they should be in the game a second so they should be in in a second and help detonate the world so I'm gonna give myself a, a command block real quick the only way you can get a command block is through the give command which gives you um, any item that's available in the world. So, so I want to give myself a command block. Now it's probably in my inventory. So right here's my command block. A lot of people probably don't know that this command block works either. So let's say that we want to summon a charge a creeper on top of this command block but we want to do it about 20 times a second so i'm gonna put this now right as i get out is gonna summon a creeper 20 times a second so there are some creepers i am going i forgot to add a tub for the creepers so now we are gonna Add a bunch of creepers everywhere, and hopefully this lightning. In fact, I'll add another block to turn them into charge creepers. 
if I turn them into charge creepers, they will blow up even better. So I'm gonna also use the summon command. Oh, I don't have to type command. I'm gonna summon lightning. So there's a command for lightning bolt, always active. Oh, yep, something. Oh, excuse me, creepers. I need to access it. Um, so I just don't think the eye is supposed to be there. Yes, command blocks are very specific. Oh, yep, and there we go. Now we are going to get a bunch of creepers. Now let's get my flint and steel. Let's see how much this works. So let's get that one. I don't know if that one's going to even do anything. Yeah, that didn't do anything, did it? <laughs> Wait, listen, Lauren, can you disable that command block I real can't. quick? Okay. I, I will. Okay, so E. Oh, wrong thing. Now, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna detonate these. And let's see how big a big explosion this is. Um, what happens? Oh yes, there's some more. So let's get one of these and... Oh yes, they don't detonate in this cycle. I'll need TNT for this. I think actually with the command block, you can summon TNT. Okay. Okay, let's go over here, and I am going to, I'm going to summon some TNT to wrap this up for tonight. Okay, and are we active? Now this will immediately start detonating. So let's watch this. So it's they're detonating right now. And then I'll let my friends in. Okay, so it looks like they're detonating over there. Yeah, I think there's too many creepers. I'll get a command block to get rid of all these creepers. I know, I know. I'm going to get rid of some of these creepers real quick. I know. I know. So, so let's... Okay, so I'm gonna invite my friends in and we'll place a bunch of TNT now. Oh, um, okay. Yes, we forgot to disable that. Okay, now it's... Thank you everyone for watching. Oh my gosh. Actually, that's cool. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and I'm going to wrap it up now. I'm going to see if I can invite my friends real quick again, and we'll wrap this up. Doom game. Let's get, get rid of that, and then now we can get rid of that. Okay, I got rid of it. Oh, yes, probably disabled, though. I will do more videos in the future. This, we, I know, oh wow. <laughs> I know this is a, this was a, just a, supposed to be a presentation. 
for some of what's possible in Minecraft. A lot of people probably did not know that some of this pe some of this was possible in Minecraft, and I will make more videos in the future. And it's, I'm going to it's time to wrap it up. So bye everyone. I'll see you um, next every Friday at around this time. I will publish a new video. Okay, bye everyone. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.